I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, I'ma do shit my way. For the blazer. Oh. And I got this one done, but what I'm showing y'all is uh <sighs> these things here are always crazy. These little things. But I mean, you can buy these on Amazon like a 50 pack so cheap. And these are what holds the door panel on. This we're yeah. We're missing one here. But um Yeah, guys, I mean this bad bro or bad girl, she's ready to go on. And she got it going on. Look at that. So, yeah, I'm going to go outside and try to cram this thing on. It would seem as though I was ill prepared because I left some of them in the door. But don't fear, guys. I mean, that damn Timu kit I, I got, it has one of these in it. Hell, them are all new ones that I did uh, last time I worked on these doors. I always try to so. use new ones. There's one on, and if you see what them wires up there are, that's uh, power window switches. For that, yeah. And here. This door is really, really shallow, and they had a funky switch in it. Obviously, they didn't work, so I like doing uh, the custom power window switches and everything. But that door looks a lot better than the old one did, and it matches steering wheel so good. And you got to try to envision it with them A pillars we did in the same paint theme as that. The cover lay dash piece to cover up all this. It's still a broken half back there. The grills, we got them out so they're clean. All that's ready for paint. It's just weather, yeah. And then this side here. And again, I went through and took all them out. You know, they've been used. They don't really like to be used more than one time, so yeah. Huh. Weather today was, it's, I mean, it's starting to sprinkle now, but I wanted to get this done, guys, and everything. The wife's really happy with it. She's on the phone with our daughter, but like I said, I wanted to get them on. And yeah, I'm really digging it. Can't show you the license plate online because everybody wants to hide, right? They'd be doing this, like, ooh, don't look at my license plate. There's the license plate. Uh, they'll get it when you're driving down the road, so. But anyway, I think it looks cool. And we really, we got good clearance everywhere. Look at all that. And obviously, you know, the speakers are countersunk in, so everything fits really well. I'm happy with it. Happy, happy. We don't have no problem here hitting this like the Owen did. So it's all good, guys. Um, but yeah, it's really starting to rain a lot worse now. So I need to get this door shut and get inside. Peace, guys. I'll be back more when we do more to this. Guys, welcome back to Backyard Building with Jerry. We got the cover lay dash cover and speaker grills for the blazer. They're in clear coat right now. We did that red splatter, yeah. The marble, I don't know. But today's sucks so far. Cause you can tell my grass is, yeah. Kids are getting lost in my grass. Uh, we've had neighbors over here looking for their children. I'm like, it's like a jungle out there somewhere. And my mower, she ain't wanting to start. Actually, she ain't wanting to do a whole lot. Uh, that's all it does. It cranks one time and then it's like, screw you. But we're getting ready to put the cover lay in here. And then uh, we're going to put door speakers in this bad boy. So that's what we got coming up while I let the mower charge and hopefully it'll do something more than crank one time. Cause I really need to mow this yard. Maybe I'll find some of them kids that are missing, who knows? But anyway, guys, for those of you that are uh, still living in your mom's basement, get off base heads on a budget, grab a hot pocket and uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do some car audio stuff. Right, we got the dash cover laid up in there. I mean, it's under there, but um, we had to put a bunch of weight on it because them things are just, they're just big sloppy. Had to tape the front down here, you know, but you can kind of see how. 
I can probably use out this tape there too. I don't know. They're they're just really wonky, and me and Deb's trying to get this thing in here and lined up and looking the best that we can. It's just you know. Well, no, I hate fucking with tape. Oh shit, you moved the whole thing forward, babe. We got like some fuse holders, an amp, a pair of six and a half, another six and a half. So we're just gonna like chill out and let this dry. Yeah, she's still lined up. And I don't even know why we had these underground power fuse holders. I won them. Deb won them. We got one of each. Well, I don't know. We got two of them, but we ain't never going to use them. But we did find something they're good for. Oh, it's making like a mess. Him. Yeah. Okay, make sure that's still lined up, babe. It's okay. still. All right. We're going to get the hell out of here before that thing, like, moves again. So, yeah, we're going to let that thing sit. It's going to look dope with the A-pillars in there that match, like, the doors that... We still got to pull the port out of here at some point, and she wants to do it the same uh, same color and everything. Hey, let's go see how the hell my lawnmower is doing. Yeah, another, another set of parents come by, so the kids are gone. So, yeah, look in the down. It's like a jungle over there. I heard an elephant over that way this morning. Yeah, I don't know, guys. My, I don't know if my battery shot, starter shot. We're going to try here. Yeah, that's all it ever does. It's like, one time, and it's done. Might need a damn starter. Look look at the grass, though. I mean, oh, you got to do something. Yeah, I got to put mids in that door. All right, yeah, it's starting it. to look pretty dope. Those are the Synergy mid base. That bad boy is made in the USA. Uh, and I got two McLaren Neos going here. And the reason I had to run Neos here is because this structure of door that that bolt right there it's power window motor and the gear comes down through this way so you can't cut this or this uh, these had a little more room i mean you can see the motor eh, back there yeah, you kind of see it over in the edge but i definitely had to uh have room which no room here. So that's why the McLaren Neos are such a perfect fit for here. And I had to find a wire code because before, like I tell you, uh, got to have a wire code to separate them channels. So I had to know which one was the horn channel originally so I could come over to here. Yep, yep that's bridge that ran the horns and run it down and find the wire code. And that ran tweeters. These are the two 3Ks that are coming out. And we'll put that GFX 8400 in here. And it'll run all the 8s, tweeters, and uh, A-pillars here probably. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out, guys. Hey guys, look at that. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, look at it, look at it. Yeah, with the dash, the A-pillars, that's going to look pretty sweet. But speakers match pretty well for being different brands. But the point is they all fit. The tweeters sink in there nicely. So me and Debs have been busting butt on this. And uh yeah, the sun's out kicking. My damn lawnmower. I think starter might be shot. Ah hell, I don't know. Um I mean I keep it on keeping my battery charger kicking on it. I mean it's doing the same shit. Like watch. <laughs> It cranks once really quick and then it just stops. It's like the hell with you. Oh shit, huh? Nah, starter's cold. I don't know. Screw that damn lawnmower. That's about what I'm gonna say. Screw the lawnmower. Anyway, we got a little bit more to do. I need to run the wires down the sides for the A-pillars. And we could probably get them in. Um I don't know. I'm just you know, guys, I'm like y'all. Hold on here, let's see. I, I just do whatever I feel like doing at that particular time. <laughs> like I felt like getting the doors together, we got the doors together. Now I kind of feel like maybe we should try to get the A-pillars together and put in, I don't know. 
I mean, I got to finish up the doors. Um, just putting all the little screws in them that hold everything. Uh, and put the power window switches in. But once I get that done, hell, the doors will be all the way finished. Hopefully they work. What if they don't work? What if I, fuck, what if I screwed up? Eh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, peace out, guys. Well, after charging the lawnmower for a long time, it started right up. And then these Ampere Radio tweeters for the A-pillars, guys, I am telling you, these things, uh, I mean, that was too close. Yeah. They um, take tiny, tiny screws, which, okay, first problem, they didn't come with any. And the second problem is uh, I went to, like, the Home Depot, and the smallest, like, little black screw they have is a number six, and it's too big to go in them itty-bitty holes. So I have to take, like, uh, a drill bit and just... It's a drill bit that fits the hole, but waller it a little bit. And then I got to pre-drill the A-pillar, but yeah, they, uh, I got one side done. Let's see if we can sneak in on, uh, Deb. I still got boxes in the yard from doing the doors. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're going we're gonna to turn around. My awesome guy. assistant singing to herself. <laughs> But guys, look at that, that just the contrast between a pillar steering wheel and the door panel. It is so awesome. And then up there, you can get a hint of the dash blending in. I love it, guys. I love it. I really like them Ampere Audio Midge and Tweets for that. They like, seriously, um, they just flow so good. But I'm gonna get off here and help her real quick. Cause she's gonna need, uh, the drill and a Phillips bit on it, and it's got a Torx bit. So, up, oh, never mind. She grabbed the hand tool, and I don't know what she grabbed there, but that's the wrong screw for that, probably. Oh, well, she's getting it in there. It is the wrong screw. Huh? Yeah, it's the wrong screw. You just couldn't find anything else to fit it. There is nothing in here. They should have been. We bagged everything. Anyway, I'm gonna get off here, guys, and help her with this real quick. And Peace, look, guys. My mower started. <laughs> oh, poor blazers covered and piling and now grass feet. Shit. shit, shit, shit. Door ain't shut over here. Not at all. Damn, that's sad. But hold on, let me clean this up. Oh, shit. We got we gotta clean this out. But we got a bunch of work to do in here tomorrow. These damn underground power fuse holders. No one I'm team no fuse, but look at it. We got clearance down there. Ooh, it looks so good. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah, for the most part, that should be dry. But look, guys. Do, do, it, do it look nice. You can't really see it. You can, but you can't. I mean, it all blends really, really well. I still got this on here. Uh, it might not have been a hundred. I mean, it was dry when we set it up here, but it might not have been a hundred percent. But I'm going to tell you guys, it looks a hell of a lot better now with this up here than all them cracks. So I'm not hating on it. But the, the A-pillars turned out good. Blending into that, blending into that. That is really nice. I still got to put the power window things in. Um... I had to put my own connectors on there because the damn plugs like that. And they, see this, there's a rivet there. I couldn't cut that out on either side. You see where the plug got in the way. But I like these having the grill so to keep, you know, Becky from uh, putting her hand through the mid when she climbs in. Which in here is a low rider. It might not be nearly as bad. But I got dug the seat belt out. I got to put back in there. We got to put this back up. Yeah. Now that the door panel is on permanently, yeah. Got a lot of work to do. I still got to put these screws in and put that back together. No big deal. I'll get that in the morning. At some point, I need to order new tires for these 18s to replace them on here. And then I got to get under the hood of this thing. And uh, we got a big issue with this. 
sometimes, not all the time, but like at Ruckus, it was really bad. When it was idling, um, it was just idling so rich. And I know this has got the, uh, I think it's called CPI injection or CDI, something like that. Uh, anyway, the, the early first version of spider injection. And, okay, not a big deal. Easy enough to change, but I ordered the fuel line hoses that go in, like, the top air plantum to the spider injection. I ordered a uh, fuel regulator, fuel pressure regulator, <clears throat> because you can't find the spider injection anymore. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Like... The, you know, toward the end of last year, you could order the whole uh, spider injection assembly. Now, nobody has it, and rumor says that they actually quit making it. And the few that are left out there are like $1,000 on eBay. I'm hoping, I mean, what's common is the fuel line in there that goes in the back of the air plenum to the spider injection. Sometimes them fuel lines split. Hoping that's all it is, because I ordered some on Amazon Two weeks ago, we still ain't got them. So, you know, there's that. And they were overpriced. But uh, I got the fuel pressure regulator. I got the gasket. So distributor cap, rotor, plugs. So hopefully when the fuel lines come in, I can get under the hood. And hopefully it ain't the spider engine. Because the thing runs good. It idles fine until it just starts, like, burning rich as hell. So hopefully the spider injection is good change that fuel pressure regulator on it and hopefully it's just like a split fuel line i don't know i mean right it, it starts all the time but if you let it idle too long so much gets rich as hell but other than that it just needs a really good bath tomorrow we got to come out here and uh take them two amps out put that one amp in which i need to get them out of here yeah i don't want to leave them in here overnight get that done hopefully the wife can move this thing up i took the battery out of the black jeep so it ain't moving what do i need to take in uh oh yeah these audio a six and a half these are little monsters and this g8400 amplifier i need to take all this back in the house damn it bear with me fellas god this thing's dirty but that's what happened. We got all these trees here, man. They just throw pollen on everything. The reason my Jeep ain't looking that terrible is because I try that some bitch every day. All right, guys. I guess uh, I guess I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm trying to finish this thing up. So that means you can go ahead and uh, go back to eating hot pockets and checking out base heads on a budget. If you're so inclined to do that. I don't I know all of you guys don't do that. And sorry, I'm just trying to be funny a little bit. I'm trying to add a little humor into the damn channel. But all right guys, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> no soda and over like God, it's been over a week. But just had lunch at this burger fire place. Well, supper for me and Deb. I tried it when they first opened, it was pretty terrible. And uh shit tried we tried something different and uh went in there it's not bad guys actually if you come to myrtle beach you should honestly if you're gonna vacation in myrtle beach you should be in north myrtle um cherry grove yeah or cherry grove which is right by each other but myrtle beach is a damn dump <laughs> hate to say it but uh myrtle beach is north myrtle is a whole lot nicer burger fine i was gonna say they're expensive it was like $35 for me and Deb both to eat. And they charge us like a dollar more for a bottle of water than what a soda is. But you got to pay it at McDonald's now, which is right across the street. The staff is not friendly at all. The lady behind the counter that took her order, she looked like she was two negative comments or complaints away from taking her own life. And the guys in the back cooking, I don't know if they smoke weed, but both of them guys look like they need a weed break. So, not friendly staff. Food was great, though. What do you think? The food was good? Food was good. 
I, I don't know why the hell I'm giving you all a damn food review. I just felt like it, guys. Yeah. Go for the garlic fries. <laughs> Burger pie, guys. Okay, and that is my lovely assistant's booty. Um, guys, we got this thing. That red's just popping right there. <laughs> that looks so cool. If the windshield was clean, it would look so much better, but yeah. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Loving it. And Deb's pulling these port pieces out. We're going to do them in the same paint scheme as this, so... We got that going on. I got the A-pillars wired up. Everything's done through there. Now, what I'm doing currently is uh, checking out my wife's butt. Other than that, I have to do this back here. Um, I got to take these two 3Ks out and basically um, I got to put that gfx 84 or g8400 i don't know these are the gfx the g8400 right here and this was the horns and you can tell it was bridged i don't need it bridged any longer i'm only going to wind up using two channels off of this for the a pillars that's on the tweeters the g8400 to be on the eight so i have to actually think and I, guys, I'm not a great thinker. I'm not even going to lie. I ain't. I get confused doing this stuff just like you guys would. Or some of you might not. And if you don't, that's awesome. Hers looks so much cleaner in the back than mine. Kind of jealous. But anyway, that's what we got going this morning. Um, I can already tell you these have to come out because these are what go to the 3Ks. And I'm going to have to get in there and look and see if I have any. I know I don't have any reducers. So I'm probably going to have to uh, make a couple four-gauge cables to go to the back. Because I don't think that amp will handle one knot. So anyway, I'm going to get the work. And I got the 3Ks out. These have been some pretty good amps, honestly. I was running uh, like this one say driver's side on two of the ds18 neo 10s this on the passenger side same thing two ds18 neo 10s in the doors which were awesome mids they handled a ton of power but i'm not trying to front or flex the gains was turned down really low um well 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 below clipping I mean, this is just way too much power, you know, but rather have too much than not enough. But anyway, this is what we're left with. I have to go find wiring and everything. <laughs> this was the power and ground wires go into these damn three Ks. But now I got to find four gauge to run to that mids and highs four channel. So... It'll be enough because these speakers, you know, they don't weigh like 30 pounds like them 10s did. Are to get a lot louder, are to be a lot more efficient. I got to put my power window switches in, but they're in and working. Everything in the door is tightened up now. It's just this, and when I put her amps back in here, I, uh, I never set uh, the games. <laughs> So, before she can go to a show, I still got to set the gains pretty much on all the amps now because everything's going to be redone. But, yeah, it looks like it could rain. It's not supposed to, but it looks like it could. She already pulled the port out. That's when I was checking out her booty. So, she's got that sanded. I need to set the saw horses up out here somewhere and let her get started on painting. I'll, go. I'll be back. Doggy, doggy, doggy. We gave him a good home. He was a rescue. Got Deb over there primer. <laughs> but this, it's hard to believe I'm, I'm replacing two 3Ks with this. Now, I am indeed going to have this old girl wired at uh, 4 ohm per channel. And at 4 ohm per channel, she only does a little over 700 watts per channel. Which is going to be fine because 
each one of those is like, these are 300. I think them's only two. Should be fine. It'd be perfect. Now, this thing will do 1,000 per channel at two ohm per channel. It is full bridge. Hell, the amps I took out were full bridge, so it don't really matter. It's just hard to believe it's so tiny. You gotta fit in there, but in that retrospect, we have to look at this like, that's a 500 by four. And it's a lot wider, but that other amp's a lot longer than that. And they've got them little 300, so I don't know. My doors are loud as shit. And look, I found wire. I was like, I don't know if I have any four gauge. I had all this damn OFC just laying there. Like, bam, peep it. Peep it, peep it, peep it. Peep it. I didn't even know I had it. But I do that a lot, guys. I order... When when money's plentiful, I order more than I need. Like, all the time. And I don't care. It happens. But anyway, I got to get that amp in there. Cut all of my zip ties. I got to take all my zip ties off of everything. Because I don't need these anymore. I'm going to need another set of RCAs. I'm not going to need one set of them. I don't know. I will figure this out, guys. I'll be back. We doing big yeah. things. Guys, I'm getting there. I got all this done. I got to put my A-pillar pot. Or, what the hell am I saying? A-pillar pot. Good God, guys. I am, I'm tripping. My A-pillar pods had to run up to here. These had to run down to... Yeah, I'm... See... See what happens? I get confused relatively easy. I was getting ready to hook the damn A-pillar pods on this. <laughs> so I got to move this out and down into here because this was the old horn wires, which I'm using for the Neo 8s. But I'm getting it. I'm getting ready to take me a little break. And the wife's getting her port painted. Let's see what she's done. Oh, yeah, she got that first coat of red on there. Looks marvelous, marvelous. I think I had to pull everything in there together. God, look at how long this has been since this thing's moved. Got the weeds growing up around it. Same, same with the Julian, the black Jeep. I didn't name it. My daughter did. She named it Julian because <laughs> Julian's the shit on Trailer Park Boys. Can't say that he ain't. But, yeah, I'm getting ready to take a break. And we'll be back at... What the hell happened there? Damn, it looked like somebody door dinged me, guys. That's what happens when you door ding Raptor liner. Damn them people. They're putting the marble down. I just like the way this stuff looks. Doggo again. Quick <laughs> snippet. The doors are shut. That thing's stupid. Yeah, that's stupid. Go, go. I can't turn it up too loud here. I'm in my yard. To the system, I don't want to be a slave. I've been doing shit my way. On the highway and in the driveway. It's a nice strange. Cause I'm trying to be a guy. It's doing great. Even in front of the vehicle, it sounds great. Yeah, even in front of the vehicle, it's sounding good. But I got the file for the DSP written. That's why the laptop's there. You see my cable run in. Guys, I just prefer to do it that way. Um, but we still haven't. I got the gains pretty much set on these amps to where... Deb sits in there and she's got a really good ear for music. So she told me what to turn up, what to turn down. I just got to get a little CA glue because these clips, you know, they don't. And I had to cut one off that side when I built this. So we got to glue them in. Uh, and at some point we got to adjust the uh, subwoofer amps. But I mean, she rolled them on a little bit. Like I said, I'm in my backyard. But she did like close the doors and uh, she turned it up to demo volume. It sounded great outside the vehicle, but it wasn't overly loud with the windows up. So I believe everything's going to be a okay. I'm digging the look and sound of the new doors. And Just remember, respect your neighbors. Yeah, respect your neighbors. So I want an honest opinion. You lost a horn, 
right? Mm -hmm. And you loved your horns. But how happy are you with the A-pillar speakers versus the horns? Um, I think they're about equal the way everything's set up. Right, but then we're a little higher, so it should be more in your face yeah. and a cleaner sound. Yeah, it'll balance once the subs are able to kick yeah. on at the same volume. Yeah, I've always loved A-pillars. A-pillars just like, they bring the sound up high. It's hard to explain because it's up, up high, right in front of your face, or sort of the door speakers are all low. And that horn was low in the door. It was like right here in the middle of the door between two tins. So I think, my personal opinion, the Blazer sounds a little better with them big ass A pillars in there. They look good. I gotta, I gotta get rid of that wire still, but we still had to uh, get Deb to dry this thing with these A pillars, see if it causes a humongous blind spot for her. It shouldn't, I mean. I have them in the edge. Yeah. But anyway, guys, this is damn near gonna wrap this up. Ignore my hair, I ain't brush it this morning. But I got everything wired in. I'm pretty happy with what I got done this weekend. My whole goal this weekend was to get the blazer back to playing with the new doors in it. And we got, I even put the seat belt in the passenger side. It ain't been in there forever. Yeah, I can have a passenger. Yeah, she can legally have a passenger, but um, I still got to deal with the spider injection on here. It's been idling for a while. And let me smell. Now it ain't really burning rich. God, them doors look good. And guys, remember, when I say they look good, they look good to me. I am no way, shape, or form a damn professional with this stuff. Like, there's nothing professional about what I do. I don't do it for a living. I don't do it in a shop. I do this shit as a hobby. How I suspect most of you would do it. Because, you know, the guys that work in a shop and build doors every day going to be like, them shitty doors. Hey, for me, they're great, you know. Um... Me and the wife built all this. We do this together. It's our hobby. It's how we spend a lot of time together other than watching the blacklist uh, <laughs> currently. But guys, if you want to do this shit, I make these videos showing you every step of the way how I do this shit. Um, I have fun filming it. It's just me. I try to let people, I try to make people realize that um, anybody can do this shit. Anybody can do this shit. You know, it's all try practice. It, it, Dealing with fiberglass and Bondo, if you screw up, just re-fiberglass it, you know? But I try to make the videos for the average guy that's going to do this shit in his backyard because he can't afford to have a shop do it, you know? Them ain't $2,000 doors by no means. But I'm happy with them. The wife's happy with them. They sound great. That's why I make the videos for guys like you. Uh, so if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I don't know. If you want to see how I built all that shit, just scroll back through my videos. I usually label it like doors or a pillar, whatever. I, I normally label everything. So, or go to Debbie Ain't Loud. She does a lot of this stuff, you know, like from a, a separate point of view or angle, whatever. You know, she does a lot more in depth usually. But anyway, thank y'all for watching this shit. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, Check out the wolfershop.com. That is me. And I should have stickers for the blazer coming soon. I might throw a sneak peek in here of what that's going to look like, but they are ordered. Thank y'all, man. I'm out. Peace out, guys. And as always, go, go, base on. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran to the no, man, I still go